What is going on guys? Nick here for another Cinema 4D tutorial and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on uh, how to get grass or a grass look inside Cinema 4D. So this technique is very similar to our um, tutorial that I did before on hair but um, you can it's it's a it's the fur material not the hair material and you can use it to simulate grass pretty nicely so this is what I, I quickly made this one up here and we'll go ahead and dive right in so the first thing that we're gonna do for this is I'm just gonna grab a plane for this tutorial and I'm gonna make it 1000 by 1000 and that's gonna be our surface for our grass to sit on. Now, while I have selected our plane object, I'm going to come to simulate and I'm going to go down to hair objects and I'm going to go to fur instead of hair this time. And if we render this right away, it looks terrible. So, first thing what we're going to do is we're going to up the count of hair objects. So right now it's set at, I think that's 10,000. Yeah, so it's set at 10,000. I'm going to set that to um, 50,000. Still not enough. Let's set that to uh, 90,000. We'll start with that and then, and then we'll uh, change it if we need. But um, for our length, when it's grass, usually not all grass is the same, usually some of it's different. So on the length, I usually just go a variation of five centimeters and add some depth and then you can add some randomizing to it. So it's going in different angles and different stuff. Now obviously grass isn't brown. So what we're going to do is we're going to come into our fur material by double clicking on it we're going to go to our color and we're just going to change this to um, a nicer color for our grass like so now I'm going to render it and we got our little grass here so um, it looks a little thin still so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, a little bit more, so I'm going to add so it's a hundred thousand. That'll be okay. So, just like our hair objects, um, lighting is a big thing. So I'm going to go ahead and throw some lights into our scene. I'm just going to grab one here, drag it up above our scene, and then uh, off to. Let's go this side. I'm going to copy and paste that light. I'm going to go to the other side. Now for both these lights we want to of course turn shadow map soft on or yeah, shadow map soft and it adds already adds that depth that shadowy depth to our uh, scene. I think the lights might be a little bit too high so I'm just going to lower them down. That's better. So um, I just want to see, these lights are in weird, oh, I get it. I'm going to just move this one over here, and then this one over here. Okay, that's better. So, now, I'm just going to quickly make a brown material for the plane to act kind of as mud. It helps hide the the bottom a little bit. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go into our fur material and we're just going to um, add a little and make it a little bit thicker because it is pretty thin. It is grass. So I'm going to make this uh, point. Let's try point three. That's better. So it's a little bit thicker you can actually see some blades of grass here it's not just um, tiny little strands of hair that you can barely see um, 
it does seem very very uniform right now which is fine it's like cut grass freshly cut grass but if you want you can come in here um, you could add some variation in the thickness you can add a you can kind of just um, check some of these on if you really want um, play around with some of them I don't either way but um, you just throw a bunch of them on for for randomizing different effects for grass so this I believe the clump was on and that's maybe what's making it look all clumpy like that yeah so that's better so I just threw one on it kind of gives it a little bit of texture a little bit of depth but uh, you can actually come back into the length option and you can have the variation on this too I believe it's like you have this variation as well so I can up that to like eight centimeters variation and you can make this really long even like 50 if you wanted it to and then you can have like a 20 centimeter variance and it starts to look look a lot like grass but again with these types of things um, lighting is is uh, a big part of it so you just want to try to set up your lights the best you can so that you get good shadows on your scene so that looks a little bit better than before um, but yeah so that's just a quick little thing how you can uh, come in Cinema 4D and create a nice little grass effect not too complicated it just takes some playing around with to perfect whatever look you're going for exactly but this and the hair are pretty much identical um, one's just for one's hair they're both technically the same thing but um, yeah so you can come in here you can make your grass different colors you can do whatever you need to and <clears throat> and get yourself a nice little uh, grass look well, that'll be it for this tutorial, guys. Um, if you like this video, leave a like down below. And if you enjoy the content that we've been putting out over the past week or two, uh, subscribe and there'll be tons more to come with it. All right, guys. See you next time.